Don't trip. Don't trip. Don't trip. Don't even trip. We got you. Oh my God. Yeah, this is yeah. happening. Yeah, it is. Dr. David, can I call you that? You can call me that, yes. Do you, does, like, do, does, like, do people know that like you're like going to be a doctor? Yeah, listen for real, yeah, I think so. All right, so Dr. David, what's popping? Here we are. Law. <laughs> okay. I know I don't have doctor law. I'm not a whoa, school. Whoa, whoa, but kinda... Doctor law is kind of crazy. Yeah. Like what? Because it, it's it's like laws giving like law enforcement, law enforcement but doctor is like. Lawyer. Yeah, a lot of people think that I'm a lawyer. You should rock, you should rock with that. Did you do a music yeah. video where you're a lawyer. Have we done that? No. I, I interrogated someone in Why Me, but I wasn't like an official lawyer. Okay. I was just kind of like a... across the table with the facts, like pointing at them like, oh. You did this. Good cop, bad cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I think I, I want to do something in like a uh, a jury because like my fan base calls himself the jury. Mm -hmm. So I want to do something where it's like the jury, please rise. Like some sick shit. And I'm like a judge and I'm fucking like with my gavel. Sure. Yeah, I got to do something with that one day. But I, it so. needs the right song. I haven't I haven't made a song I that I feel like is like feel a bit. worthy of that. <laughs> worthy of that. Yeah, that that because like that's my whole fucking name and brand. I can do that shit one time before it's like played out. We seen it before. Next caller. Like, How many times she so gonna keep having be, her videos in a, a fucking courtroom? Hit, hit, hit for real. Like, oh yeah, it's gonna be a like a, yeah, commercialized. What's up, y'all? It's Don't Trip Podcast. I'm with your host David, and we got a special guest for y'all today. Miss Laws in the building. Here, yep. what's popping, Doctor mm -hmm. David? You're, Doctor you're gonna David. be Doctor David Doctor on this David. episode. Okay, Doctor David. Some of y'all know already, but Law, yeah, that's uh, her official label. So. We appreciate it. Thanks for listening. Uh, we're going to get into her, and then we're going to get into the Don't Trip questions, but this is Don't Trip Podcast. Advice at no price is our motto, and uh, we're just here to help you all out, have some fun, do different segments. We hope you enjoy. Uh, if you're new, welcome. If you're old, we appreciate the support. And we got the Don't Trip questions for today. We got uh, stuff that y'all send in. Go ahead and DM us on Instagram. Don't DM the personals. DM us on Instagram on the actual account, um, and we will get to your questions. Go check out the Patreon if you want free therapy not free <laughs> not free but if you want therapy sessions our uh, patrons have access to that uh the full audios everywhere go subscribe to the youtube and all that but yeah we in uh we in new york so we getting some new faces new places and all that stuff we hope y'all enjoy we got today we might do pickup lines for y'all since y'all been missing that so much we might do what some pickup lines we that? might that's that's about it. But I feel like Law's going to have a lot to say. So we'll see if we get to that. Oh, man. I wonder why you think that. I don't know why. I just It's just a hunch. It's just a hunch, I mean, honestly. I don't really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're going to start out getting to know you. Once you take your little swig of your beverage, let's uh, tell them about Law. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. All right. Well, what's up? I'm Law. Um, I'm a singer, songwriter. Um, I make music. I'm an artist. I have a podcast. Mm -hmm. I'm a social media influencer. And I'm just out here. I'm a communicator. That's what I say. I just, I communicate thoughts and ideas through music, through melodies, through podcasting, through content. And that's what I'm here doing right now with Dr. David. Yeah, we're talking it, talking it. Yeah. So your name means? Ladies Always Win. Ladies Always Win. Where'd you get that from? So my name is actually Lawand. That's tough. Okay. Yeah, so it's L-A-W-A-N-D. Uh -huh. um, and then it's just, it's the first three letters of my name. And one day, the team that I had at the time, we were sitting around. And I kind of always wanted a stage name. And someone was like, Law. And I was like, oh, it's tough. Mm-hmm. And this one was like, ladies always win. And I was like, oh, that's, that's even, tough. That's even harder. That's tough. And I'm like, bro, this these have been the first three letters of my name my whole life. Mm -hmm. And it's always meant that, but I just, I never knew. Okay. So, yeah. No, that's fair. And how'd you get into this? How was, uh, you just came out the womb singing or what you what happened? I like to think so, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I grew up, um, I first started playing piano when I was four. In my grandpa's house, he had a piano that was just laying around. That I would start tinkering around playing. I started writing songs. I was like six or seven. Um, and then I, I didn't start actually doing music until I graduated high school. So I had signed to a label at the time, did this whole thing. I signed wow. with them, put out a project. Um, and yeah, that's how I kind of got here. Okay. What's uh, what's the future looking like? What you got planned? I got my podcast coming out. Mm -hmm. Season two. Grab bow. We back. Ladies always win. Um, I just dropped my album, Vent 2. 11 bangers. Mm -hmm. We love that. I'm um, definitely working on new music. I'm just kind of working on setting up a, a new business model to be like a thousand percent independent as artists. That's like my new goal. Okay. Yeah. And then what's uh, <clears throat> in the least corny way, what's your inspiration and stuff like that? Like what what makes you? My parents, definitely. Okay. My parents, 100%. Um, my parents and younger me, I would say, oh, inspire me the most. Love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think because... 
I just at such a young age for like this unexplainable reason was just like I'm gonna be a pop star and I just felt like God put something in me if I'm just gonna do this big great thing um, and so I feel like I don't know I, I owe it to that girl because every day low key everything she thought was gonna happen just be happening yeah. and I'd be like maybe she was right the manifestation like, I don't know yeah and then obviously my parents you know they, they worked very hard my dad was a truck driver mm -hmm. so he would wake up at 4 in the morning to go to work and then my mom had a very corporate job so she'd work you know regular 9 to 5 um, but I don't know I just I woke up every single day and I just saw them work really hard and grind and I wanna give them something back for that all right, last last music question. If someone mm. was, if you used to describe your sound to somebody, what would you describe it as? So the textbook answer is like dark R and B, right? Dark if, R and B. Yeah. If you want to take it a step further, I like to put my music in situations because that's when you really listen to music. So let's say you're you just like broke up with your ex or you stopped talking to a situationship because you realize mm -hmm. fuck them that they're lying to you and gaslighting you. Okay. Mm. That's Maybe true. you realize that. Um, all of a sudden, you're just like, oh, what do I do? You hit Spotify and you turn on a law song. Okay. And shit just starts getting better. better. So I like to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I feel like I make music for those kind of situations of like picking yourself up. Okay. And then, okay, now, because I'll be getting questions off of what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> dark R&B. What is the difference between dark R&B and R&B? It's the sonic sound. So I have, I mean, I'm sick right now. This is not how I normally sound, guys. If y'all go watch my podcast, I sound crazy different. Okay. Um, but it's, so sonically, I have a very dark tone. Um, and so to me, I just, it sounds more dark. A lot of the instruments are more like uh, Travis Scotty. They're more analog. Mm -hmm. They're more warm. So it kind of has this dark, like I, 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 I'm I, a very visual person. So a lot of times when you, like I hear a song, all my songs just like take place like in nighttime or they're dark. They don't have this like very bright sound to them. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see. yeah, yeah. Okay. So a lot of my visuals are like it. During Matches. the night, I hate shooting day shit. <laughs> I'm just like, bro, I'd be like, it's not the vibe. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. the song is so dark. It needs to be dark. That's fair. Yeah. And then, uh, oh, don't, don't lose a train. Oh, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Don't, don't, don't. This happens to me. Oh, all okay. Time. Wait. Got you. Back. The songs, is it from life experience or you just be kind of just trying to spit? Um, it's a matter of life experience from what I'm feeling. My whole first EP in my album is based off of DMs that girls were sending me mm -hmm. from Loyalty Test. I was turning those into songs, uh, reading, you know, the stories over and over again and kind of just being like, okay, which, how many of these stories do I resonate with? Because clearly that means that this is like the, the masses. Everybody must be feeling this way. So it's my own personal experiences, but because I do have this platform where girls feel like I'm their personal therapist, I kind of have this system to run it through of like, well, what do the girls want to hear about? Um, but I mean, it's a little bit of manifesting too, because I'd be saying stuff in songs that's like not necessarily true, but it's almost like music. I feel like music has this like ability to where there's no time attached. Music can literally time travel you. Yeah. Like you can listen to a song and take it back. So the same way I think you can get taken back, I think you can listen to a song and be taken forward. So sometimes when I'm writing songs, I'll write songs almost from like a future me perspective of, or like where I want my life to be and what I want to experience. And then oddly enough, I listen to it years later and then I'm sitting in, in what I wanted my life to be. That's dope. Yeah. Okay. I like this. I like this. So show is Don't Trip, We Got You. I'll mm -hmm. throw a question that the fans said. So don't shape you show we got you. Okay, okay. and then we'll answer it. Okay. And we're going to get into the first one because you actually just kind of mentioned it. All right? Oh, my and God. Because I, right. I told you, I do research on my, my stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, about, I right? love that. And I'm related to the questions. So the question that someone asked is, should I put my... <laughs> question somebody asked is, should I put my partner through a loyalty test? Absolutely. So, well, don't trip. Oh, I, I have to say something? Mm -hmm, we got you. What do I got to say? We got you. I just say the answer now or I say the tagline? No, no, no. You say, so I'll say don't trip, then you say we got you. Okay? I'm so bad at drops. No, 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 okay, no, you ready? okay, got it. Okay. <laughs> Should I put my boyfriend through a loyalty test? Don't trip. Well, we got you. There and you the go. answer is fucking yes. Why? Absolutely. Why should you do that? Because it's just, it's it's like, why not? If you're not hiding anything, like if, if you're genuinely have nothing to hide, like why would that even bother you? The only people who kind of get pressed about that is maybe you have something to hide. Okay, but like, doesn't that show like a distrust of your partner if you have to put a loyalty test, especially if they weren't cheating or weren't doing anything? Mm -hmm. Like you find out that, oh, it all just in my head. Yeah, but I feel like that, I think that, that that's up to the person. The loyalty test in itself, all it's going to do is give you answers. Mm -hmm. So if you're sitting here th and you had a suspicion and maybe you had no evidence, you either might get evidence or maybe, okay, I was crazy. What you do with that information of, I think you should tell the person if that was the case, be yeah. honest about it. But I think that everyone is entitled to a peace of mind. Okay. And I feel like whatever's going to get your peace of mind that's not crazy, 
go for it. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I just feel like if so, would you be okay if you got put through a loyalty test? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And you wouldn't feel no type of way when they told you about it. No. Okay, that's so because you just know you you're in the clear. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Because because ready when you're a truthful ass person okay. and you live your life the same way to everybody in your DMs, not in your DMs. You're not gonna have any problem. If I'm telling my boyfriend I'm super loyal to you, and then a guy hits me up, and I'm that's how I really act, and I'm loyal. What what do I have to hide? Okay, that's fair. So what? How did you? How did these uh, loyalty tests work? They just girls just asked you to message their boyfriend and you just ran game. Girls asked me to do a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. And some of the things I'm like, girl, what? Yeah, it's it started because I I did one for my. It's not even like I I did one. It was yeah. like I had a friend who genuinely thought her boyfriend was cheating on her. Um. I was like, you know what, whatever. Let's figure this out. I'm going to do it. So I, I do it online. The video goes viral. From then, girls, thousands of girls are messaging me. Um, it it, mainly, it's just they they say, hey, I think this. Can you just DM my boyfriend? Uh, sometimes they have a very specific like thing they're trying to get, like a storyline of, hey, say this. Say you're going to be here. Because, yeah. again, they're trying to base it off of whatever information they already have of, like, how, like, are you lying or you're not? But sometimes they're just genuinely curious. They're just, hey, just, like, DM him. Okay. Yeah. So it was just off your real account. Or yeah. Did you have like, okay. So sometimes I tried using like another account for a little bit. I would have different accounts, but like most of the time it's my account. Okay. And then did you ever like catch people for real? Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. And ready? And and that's what makes me feel like, let's go back to, is it, is it okay to get yeah, a loyalty yeah, yeah. test? Well, if you're catching people. Then it's great. Then maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe it's something we should be doing. Okay. Did you, did you ever get called out? Like a dude's like, I seen you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so sometimes, sometimes, if you forget to block them, it's a random day for you. Imagine you do a loyalty test. You forgot to block the guy. They had a conversation. I'm just chilling in my bathroom and I forget about it. And I just see, how, who the <laughs> fuck are you? To, and I'm, and I'm sitting here like, what the Ruined fuck is this? the whole this? relationship. I'm sitting here brushing my teeth and I'm like, oh, this fucking clown, delete. Mm -hmm. Like, what are you talking about? Like, you, yeah. But see, like, I've always been curious about those things. So, like, People that go viral off it, obviously. Yeah. What if the boyfriend already seen your video? Like, that ever happened? Like, he's like, yeah. I seen, I seen Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. There's, there, there's been times, like, in person where, like, the guy's like, aren't you looking on TikTok? Huh? Huh? I don't got no TikTok. You meet up with the, you've met up with the dudes. Yeah, yeah, no, look, because some of them are, like, in person. So, like, let's say, like, if a guy works at, like, Target, the girl will be like, hey, my boyfriend works at Target. He's going to be there at 10 p.m. or oh, at 9 p.m. Okay. And some okay. of them will be, hey, let okay. me go see if you're going to give me your phone number. Some of them will just be DM messages. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. You wasn't ever like, you bring backup. No. Oh. I don't bring, I don't want to say I don't bring shit because I do, but it's just like, that's also why like so many, I don't confront the people. I, that's not my thing. Okay. And so many, why don't you go, bitch, I'm alone. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just a girl in the store. Mm -hmm. Like this could look cool on social media. I'm just a girl in the store with an iPhone. Facts. That's it. I'm not about to go confront nobody. Why would I do that? I'm good. I again. I just want to give people answers, but I don't want to start problems. I don't want to put myself. No, I'm okay. So was this? This was a past law. Or are you still kind of dabble? It's. I don't really do it anymore. I started working with this company Lazo, which if you want a loyalty test, check them out. It's a whole platform, and like really? th that's what made me start thinking because like, I wasn't really doing it. They didn't give you a show. And then yeah, and then all of a sudden it was like you know TV networks, and then this whole company is created that I'm like maybe loyalty tests aren't going anywhere because in the business world people are really putting like. A lot of money behind doing loyalty tests and things like that. So it's like, I don't really do it. I, I do music, but it's like, I kind of still do it here and there just because a lot of people know me for it. Yeah. But yeah. Well, that's kind of tough. Yeah. Okay. Well, bet, 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 bet. All right. Oh, okay, cool. I got a notification my car was unlocked. Anyway. Well, what happened cool. to my big cool. screen? Cool. You don't know. Oh, you. <laughs> my brother, the lighting is probably, it's probably better right now. We'll see. So. Ugh, I know. All right. The next question is How do I not get played? Don't trip. We got you. Get a loyalty test. Get a loyalty test? <laughs> if you get a loyalty test, I'm fucking gonna get played. You're gonna another character immediately. So what if he like So you think they could do one off jump? Off jump. Like I you think just started dating. That's or, like one of the best times to do it. But why though? But again, it depends because it's it's a it's about test it's about the person's character. Yeah. So if, if you and this person are having a conversation, right, before they're even committed to you. And, and you guys are having a conversation that let's say you guys are exclusive. And then let's say, but here's the thing, you don't know this man. You don't know these people. Like, especially on dating apps, like, you really don't know this person. They could just be telling you this. Facts. So then, let's say you get a loyalty test, and this person is very much so open to other people. 
they're lying to you before y'all are even official. Now, let's say you never did that. Now you're in a relationship with a full-blown liar. Okay. How else would you have known that? This leads me to another question I talked about with my friends before. Say you are exclusive with somebody, right? Yeah. Or whatever, whatever. You get, and then you start dating. Mm. And you find out that person slept with someone before you guys started dating, before you were officially boyfriend and girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Is that a breakupable offense? No, because you guys weren't, you weren't official. Okay. It's, 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 ev- to me, everything is about people's word, right? Everything is about we have an understanding and what are you agreeing to? Okay. I only ever press and have issues with people once they, they break what they said. The issue with that, and people have problems with me, is because when I'm doing that, I'm telling you about yourself. People get mad. When I'm bringing your own receipts to you of like, well, no, this is what you said. People tend to not like that. But it's like, that's that's the only... That's the real. That's the only thing, yeah, of like, if, if, if this was something that you said and we agreed on... Well, what what would the issue be? So if that if that agreement was never made, no, I don't think so. Okay, so if it was if it wasn't like agreed upon that we're just seeing each other, we're just messing with each other, mm-hmm. and like yeah, it happened before. Like say yeah. it was like yeah, I tried to get, I just had to get one off before we started dating. The day before, I actually, my girl. Again, now I'm gonna question your character as a person, and do I want to date you? Okay. Like now, it's a different question of like, it, is it a breakup? I mean, maybe, but it's just like the actual question. I'm like, eh, not really, no, technically, but it just leads to another question of. Do you want to be in the relationship with somebody who feels that way? Okay. That's that's just a personal decision. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next. Wait. There's more. There's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, there's All a right. lot. You're giving All advice right. to these people. What? Do you have any do you have any question, pressing issues that you want to talk about before I move on? If not, you think on that. Simmer, okay? Oh man. We're gonna change it up a bit. Was that right? a sign? Does that, that say 333 by chance? Three, I don't three, know. What? If I would have seen an angel number, I would have been like, this might be a sign. I you have a, you have a pressing issue. I don't have a pressing issue. I just had a pressing day. A day? Just, <laughs> yeah. Sounds like something going on with it. I'm not going to lie Let's to give you. advice to the people, yeah, Dr. Not you, David. Not you. We can have your, your personal therapy session. We're do- oh, time. God. Yeah. I, you know, I'm going to join the Patreon and get yeah, therapy. Get the, yeah, th- yeah. Shout out. Shout out. Real shout quick. out. Yeah. Exactly. All right. We're going to change it up before we answer it. We have a couple more questions, but we have a segment called Simpin' or Pimpin', right? Oh, shit. So okay. this was a very... It was used to- <laughs> It used to be more popular, right? All right. We used to do it all the time, but I ran out of pickup lines. But some people have sent me some pickup lines, right? Okay. So we just judge the pickup lines. If you think it's cute, if you think it will work Aww, on you possibly. Simpin. No, no, no. Pimping. Oh. Pimping is good. We're going pimping is good. Okay. Pimping okay. is good. Simping is like, ah, don't throw that one out there. You feel me? Why did my brain go polar opposite? I don't know. Okay. I was like, okay. So, I mean, girls like, like, like simping, stuff, so, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, versus pimping's like, oh, uh, Exactly. Like, but we always explain that. So some people think like, like, I'd rather do, like, a cute line that'll get the girl. That's pimping right. to me. Okay, Versus, okay. Yeah, yeah, Respectful. Exactly. Respect- Respectful. Yeah, all right, exactly. pimping. Okay. So whatever. But pimpin some of the lines simpin'. is a little much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you let me know what you think, all right? Okay. First line is, tie your shoes. I don't want you falling for anyone else. <laughs> okay. That's that's a winner. Yeah? That's, that's a, a winner, bro. If okay. I'm at fucking Barnes & Noble tying my shoe yeah, yeah, yeah. and a man comes up to me and says that, okay. oh, yeah, you're that's pimping. Dubs? That's a win. Look at yeah. you. Look at you. That's yeah, Okay, okay, okay. Let's get these more. <laughs> Don't forget my name. You're gonna be screaming tonight. I think that's also pimping. You saw the, You saw her face. I think it's also pimping. But here's the thing. Yeah. You gotta be a. You gotta be real good looking yeah. and confident to pull that one off. Because okay. if you're out here looking like a toad and you say that, <laughs> it's just looking crazy for you. You gotta have the confidence. Because like, then the girl dang. can just hit you with a wild comeback. Yeah. So it's just like, like dang. Oh, especially out here in New York, they're gonna be. Yeah. Mean oh to you. yeah. They're yeah. They're, they're gonna be real mean to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so if you're off the rip, about to be like. The first thing I ever said to you in life was my dick game is so strong or screaming my name. Mm. I hope so. Because if not. Back it up. It's my ruin your life. <laughs> the confidence go crazy. Literally. Give me some of that. All right. But <laughs> for real. Next one is, if I had a penny for every time I thought about you, I'd have one cent. Because you never leave my mind. That was intelligent as fuck. Yeah, I'm going sipping on that. A one. smart motherfucker said yeah. that. Pimping, bitch. Pimping. Pimping, really? Because that, it, I had to think that like, had layers. So you was you that was had there multiple like, huh. layers. You know why? This this is what girls really want. Yeah. That shit actually activated my brain. I had to really think about you that. You want to be stimulated. I up want here my mind stimulated. Before so you're stimulated if you're else. stimulating my mind with a pickup line, uh-huh. we're already off to the races. Exactly. We're getting that's a great start. Yeah. Wow. wow. That was really lit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whoever wrote that one, mm-hmm. come come write some songs for me. <laughs> Hit me up on Instagram. Come write some songs. That ass, you got bars. Last one is, lie down on the couch and pretend your legs hate each other. Disgusting. Get the fuck <laughs> out of my face. <laughs> Simping. Disgusting. That was nasty. That's, that's what we're going to close on. Don't use that one, y'all. That was nasty. <laughs> the rest of Unless, them, though. If, hey, you was, if your boyfriend said that to you, would you be okay? 
Well, yeah, because that's my that's my man. That's your man's. But it's, if I don't know you, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah that's I, fair, that's me fair. personally, I'm taking that a little wrong. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. You ready to give some more advice? Yeah. Yeah. What we're giving advice on. <laughs> this girl asks, "How do you realize you're being delusional? Don't trip." What I was supposed to say. We got you. We got you. There you go. I'm thinking hard. So on how this you because. Like, I feel like that's a very hard thing to mm-hmm. to do because in the moment you're like I'm right. I'm thinking in the I'm, I'm in my right sense of mind. Like everything I think is how it should be. Mm-hmm. Like how do you realize when's the point or how do you help yourself realize? No, bro, you're really being delusional about this. Um so you have to have a baseline of what is true. Okay. You have to have a baseline of reality. Mm-hmm. So you got to start there. So you have to start with all the things that you know to be factually true. With Back evidence check. that you could prove Back through whatever, mm-hmm. right? You do that. And then from there, as as thoughts come by, right? Anytime I get a thought, I ask myself, okay, is this true? Mm-hmm. Yes or no? Why is it true? How is it true? And if, if I'm able to create a case of real solid evidence, then that's a true thing. If if not, then this this is something, this is either a lie somebody told me, right? That I'm sitting here pondering on, gaslighting, yeah. gaslighting. Yeah. Um, or I'm just sitting here making this up out of my own insecurities. It's somebody's insecurities. If the, once the answer is no, of there's no evidence, either I'm insecure and I need to figure out why, or the person who lied to me and told me this is insecure. That's that's the only time that, that that's where that comes from. Okay. So I just feel like that's that's like a good process to go through. To go through to, to get rid of delusions. I think not you to get have rid to, of them, but just to, to fact check them. Fact Delusion check. or not, right? So yeah, yeah you need facts. Mm-hmm. So don't 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 jump anything jump into anything without facts then, mm-hmm. because I feel like if also if you're I think if you're confusing yourself like if you're if you're sitting there thinking is this that is this whatever yeah that's a good sign of like maybe you should just like she said find out the real facts mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of people I respect women guys or whatever that are just straight to the point me like, bitch go ask go ask what you want to know and get a straight answer from it because then like you said people lie. But mm-hmm. then if he lied to you and you got a straight answer, then you know he's a liar. She's a liar. And, and now, exactly. And now you have the the facts. The thing is that when you do this and and, and you do go for, for straight answers, it's like that's your way of creating that evidence and get it. Because you're going to get an answer regardless. They're either mm-hmm. going to lie. Um, they're going to not answer you. Which The thing is like, the, it, like a not answer is, is such a clear answer. Really? So no, yeah. So it's like no matter what, like if I ask you a question and it's just silent, or ask you a question and you, and you and you deflect, or ask you a question and you're flipping it back on me. Uh-huh. So I, I might not ever get the truth from you, but now at least I know because I was seeking evidence. Now, now I have something else to dissect of, well, this is weird. Which, right, once I can start to dissect that, maybe now, okay, I'm not delusional. But you're not going to get that unless you go out to try to figure it out. Like, you sitting and stewing it, it's not going to do shit but make you crazy. This is facts. So you think, like, half answers are just as bad. For example, you ask a guy. Mm. What are we? Whatever. We're like, we're good. Like, let's just give it time. Whatever. whatever. Half answers are just cop outs. They're not answers and okay. they're lies. Okay. They're lies. But what if he, people can be confused? You got to give them yeah, that though. Yeah. Or people cannot know how they but feel about something in a certain moment. Even if you're confused, there's still a directness. C- confusion like is deception. Mm. If you're confused, you're being deceived. Okay. Period. Point blank. If somebody doesn't know how they feel, th- they should be able to communicate that in a clear way of, hey, you know, I don't know how I feel right now. I enjoy spending time with you. Um, I don't know if I'm ready to be committed, but let's keep seeing where things go. Now, again, if you continue to have if that person's giving me that answer over and over again a year later. Now, maybe we have something else to look at. Now mm-hmm. we know. OK, get this person out the question. What else are we going to start looking at? OK, that's fair. And I think I think a lot of people blame <laughs> Especially, like, people that say that mm-hmm. and say that I'm not ready for this right now. The, you have to take it upon yourself because that's your decision whether you want to stick with that or not. Because you can't blame, like, that person was upfront with you. That Facts. person was very upfront with you. They told you what it was. It might not go the way you want. And that's, when people, that's when people get Delulu when exactly. it's bad. Because that's when girls are so bad at they will create an entire false future world future. that doesn't exist. Once to, yeah, waiting for that flip to switch. Switch to just, flip. Just waiting. One day, one day, something's going to happen and then we're going to be in this magical world I made up in my head. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. why I always tell girls that are like just dating, I'm like, don't, oh my God, why, why are we making up kid names, bro? Why are you doing that? <laughs> Go, up, what are the facts? You went on two dates. Those are the facts. You don't know this man's middle name. I don't give a fuck about his sign, his vibe. What are the what facts? Are the facts? You've known him for three weeks. 
Let's pu- let's pump the brakes because when you do that, then you're not gonna get yourself beaten to Lulu because mm-hmm. then you're not gonna run into those situations. Exactly. She's speaking. For, she, you heard her. You heard her, ladies and gentlemen. You heard her. Okay. Okay. Our last question slash scenario for the day. Okay. So Shadi went through this um, scenario, but now she has a question about it. All right. If you and your partner walk into a place and he sees someone he messed with, do you expect him to tell you? Absolutely. Why though? Because because you're about to sit here and because here's the thing: if you don't tell the person, mm-hmm. your dynamic between that person, right? That person is never going to really know, right? Anytime you're hiding something. So let's say you don't tell the person, and you and that person are like super friendly, and and it's like it's like wow, like right. But that person thinks you guys never fucked. They're seeing that like, oh my God, this is just your good friend. But if they know you fucked, now they're seeing this like, oh, maybe you have feelings for the person. Okay, okay. But isn't that a reason not to tell them? Because if it is just super friendly, mm-hmm. it is like, I. it was something in the past. It was something, whatever. Yeah. Now me telling you adds that that thought to your head and messes you up, even though now it is strictly friendly. Like it's not something that we have Right, but with. the thing is, and that's 100% right, which is why if you don't say anything, it becomes a question as to why would you not say something if it's truly nothing? Because this is this is why I go back to the truth. When you're not hiding shit, there's, there's no reason to not say something. Okay. It's as simple as, I don't think you should tell that person like right then and there, but afterwards, hey, just so you know, so-and-so when they came up to me, we used to have a thing. I just, I didn't, you as my person, as my girl, I didn't want you out here thinking whatever. That's just a respect thing. Okay. To not say, because here's the thing. The real question is, how did you get into a scenario in a building <laughs> with a person you date and you don't already know the people they mess with? How are you even there? That's this true. person already is being weird and shady because why? Okay. That's the only conversation people like to have of, hey, let's, uh, let's put out our list. Tell me names, and maybe you guys, if you don't similar people, who did you fuck, who did you do this with? I want to know. A lot. Normally, a lot of people when they get into relationships, they do that. Okay. Which is why it becomes a problem when you see the person in public, because that means, oh, I forgot somebody. Oh, oh no, this is so-and-so, I didn't tell them about, and then it becomes this whole thing. It becomes a whole problem. Yeah. But, okay, so say, in, in, in the scenario where he doesn't tell, and no one ever finds out, isn't that the best scenario, though? Like, no, nothing ever happens. No. No? It's still better to just have have it out there. Just have just have the truth out there. Yeah. Interesting. I don't I don't know what I would do personally if I saw some really like if I was with my girl and I saw someone I would if it was yeah unless she was like making a move Ready? on me or something. Here's yeah, the thing. Go ahead, run it. This this is the question everyone should ask themselves mm-hmm. when you're in that situation. You ask this: If I don't tell my partner, would they be mad? Period. Point blank. That question is going to be different for partner. everybody. But if your answer is yes. You know your partner would not like the fact that you're standing in front of, and they don't know about it. That's your answer. Okay. And that's for everybody to, how, how well do you know your partner? So, okay, so what with the know your partner thing, what if you know them well enough that, that you know they're going to- Obliterate dig, you? Li, not obliterate me, but also just dig like a mm-hmm. the hole deeper than like deep. Like they're just going to get themselves stuck in like, oh, like she's prettier than me. Oh, like, why did he, um, what did you see in her? Oh my gosh, she's like so funny and pretty. Like, she's gonna. So ready right there? Yeah. Break up with that person because they're very, they're insecure. very insecure. I'm not, okay. You got me. That's it. Right. If, 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 if that's gonna be your scenario, that person's not even healthy enough to be in dynamic. Yeah. And they're gonna, and here's the thing, they're gonna do that to you with something else True. because it's an insecurity in themselves. Facts. So it's like, yet again, the truth wins. The truth does win. Because then you, you just got out of that, you just got out of a toxic Insecure yeah, just, relationship. Exactly. Because if you feel the need that you shouldn't say something, then you should break up with that person. Yeah, that's actually crazy. Because when you think about it, because <laughs> I'm, I'm not even. It doesn't what even just have to, happened? Was that like a. No, that was a, I was thinking about Like it, a doctor brain yeah, moment? Yeah, like, I was. It was like Jimmy Neutron when the, the that, brain blast. Oh my God. Yeah. I feel like, I bro, you could kid. I'm watching Young Sheldon. You could kid genius. Really? Were you ever like, like, are you like super, no, no, super no, no, smart? No, 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 I mean, no, obviously no. you're very smart if you're going to be a doctor. I'm but smart. Like, I'm God. God. Yeah. Thank you for the wisdom. I appreciate it. But. Um, per, I just work hard ish. Yeah, yeah. I I know my way around how to. But like, get so are you done. smart by studying, or you're just naturally intelligent? Just studying, definitely. Okay, I'm okay. definitely more street smart than book smart. Sometimes I'm like, I don't know. Why See, I'm that's a flex because yeah. like you gotta like live a life or just be really smart to be exactly. street smart. Book smart's like if you just put enough time and your eyeballs on a piece of paper, and memory. You're solid. Yeah, you could pass solid. some tests. That's cool. Street smart though. You say you're watching Young Sheldon. That is my favorite show in the okay, world me, right get, now. Wait, okay. We're off topic. <laughs> Give me your top three shows of all time. <sighs> Young Sheldon's going up there. Young I've been watching Sheldon. it. Yeah, it's, it's recent. It good Girls. Good good Girls. Okay. So, yeah. Interesting. Really, really good. 
Um, I, it's crazy. I don't really watch like I binge shows. So like, okay. if I, I really love a show, it's like it's a big deal. That's fair. For a long time, it was Full House. That was like one of my all time. Full House. I have every, I have all eight seasons on DVD. But every why? snow day, I would watch it. I don't know. I just he laughed and it was it was just like ha, it's your, it's your feel good show. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you? My sister does this. If you have like a bad dream, okay. like a nightmare, do you like or or like a, watch a scary movie? Do you need to yes. watch? I'm watching the Backyardigans or I'm watching Spongebob. That's Sponge- a thing. Yeah. Yes, well, absolutely. It just brings you peace. and that's just- Because it's like, it's the last thing on my mind. It's like, I don't want, I don't like going to bed with like some wild shit on my brain. Like I, I can't, I can only watch maybe like three, four true crime things a year. Yeah. And I've already, I'm, I'm at two. And I already felt myself getting a little like. Why do girls, I, I do not know a girl that doesn't do that. I don't know. It just brings you, in my head, I'm like, I'd watch the movie. It is what it is at this yeah, point. Yeah, I, it's. You know what's crazy? I think it's because men are, are wired to be protectors and maybe God just did something in their brains that you guys are like a little bit psycho mm-hmm. that you could just watch somebody kill somebody okay. and then just go. But <laughs> also, all the girls, you, you no guys problem. be watching murder documentaries for fun, like with s'mores on the side. Like why? But not the last thing before we go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, then you put on the backyard. That's, for inter- that's how you know it's for entertainment. It's not a real lifestyle. We're faking. Like this shit's just like, it's oh my just, God, popcorn, popcorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it's really time to get real, I don't want that shit on my mind. Put on, put on SpongeBob. Put on Peppa Pig. Peppa put Pig. On, I've never watched Peppa Pig, but anything at that point. So put I, Paw Patrol, bitch. I don't care. Mm-hmm. I, Something anything. to calm you down. Yes. Because I can't. I, child. Yeah, I can't. I can't go to sleep with that on my mind. That's no. fair. That's fair. And then Young Sheldon. So Young Sheldon. Wait, have you? Okay, top. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to throw that. I was going to put that in okay, maybe as number fair. three. That was that's my fair. brother's favorite. Have you ever watched Boondocks? Right no. Really? You should what's, watch Boondocks. What's that about? It's um the, the little black kids, Riley and Huey, the little cartoon. Uh, Regina George voice like act- <gasps> yeah she did the I voice. Of- Wait, is it on Netflix? <sighs> no, it's Dang on it. HBO Max. Yeah, I'm not trying to have 15 girl. subscription yeah, services, bro. You know, c- can somebody please make one subscription one that's all of them? Can one of y'all do that? Elon, somebody with the money. I Elon, don't know. Someone with the money. Just somebody. It's like I'm just. It's so annoying. Yeah. Like I have Netflix and I'm like I don't feel like and I just got my own Netflix. Oh, you a big girl now. I don't want to be. That <laughs> shit's annoying. Like, you know how long I just was trying not to do that because it just felt like... Was you just like, mooching off all your friends? It was, it was my parents. Oh, okay, I had my own little funny. account and then Netflix of the bullshit where it was like, uh, this this TV is not <laughs> registered. I'm like, mom, send mom, me the please. code. I can't put Young Sheldon on. And then she didn't send me the code fast enough and I was like was a like, crackhead. So put my credit card it. in there and now I got a Netflix account. Shit. Nah, they be playing you. I think they if do. you go on my TV... Netflix account's different. Hulu's account's different. Like, I guess oh, you're, that, a ske- you're be, a, yeah. just a scammer. No, nah, you just got to. It's like a Pokemon. Got to catch them all. You feel me? You got to. You got to get what you got to get. Bro. Make some connections. Right. So then you got an HBO Max I could use? I got no, I had a little something I could throw you away. Watch the Boondocks for me. I, oh, you, you could, you could yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you can get into it. So then it works out. It works you watch, out. Uh, you don't watch anime, do you? No. You should get into that. I really don't like it. No, no, no. I think you should get into no, 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 no. I have a strong. So what? Why, though? It's It's very good. It's just so he's like, cause he knows he's trying to give me to watch that. I'm just like, but like, what did you try it for? Real? So I, I've seen some anime. Yes, yeah. I have. And it's just not for me. Like, it's just, I don't know. Like, I, I don't get it. I don't, first of all, I hate subtitles. Number one, a mm. lot of animes are subtitles mm. that took me out of the genre immediately. If mm. I, if, if someone has like fucking like a regular ass show on and they have stuff, I'm like, turn that shit off. I hate it. So the fact that I have to read the subtitles for most of them, I'm like, oh my god, I just I don't know, and the, okay. I don't I don't like the animation of it. Like I think it looks cool as like stills in like actual like pictures, but something about it moving it like freaks me out. Interesting. I haven't met anyone because you know like now everyone's trying to watch anime, so it's like I'm not, I haven't met anyone. I don't know why. Boldly... I guess it's like trending or something. Yeah. Again, that's how much I don't like that. I don't even know if it's trending. I have no idea. Like, <laughs> I think you could find one you like. Maybe I don't. Yeah. We could find like a backyard again, Spongebob ish one for you. The backyard. Yeah. See, I have no voice. <laughs> Yard again. Da, 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 da. Yeah. All right. We're going to. Sick. Losing my voice from spreading the truth. Spreading the truth. Well, Law's going to keep spreading the truth. What's your your podcast is called? The Ladies Always Win Podcast. Ladies Always Win Apple podcast. Music. Oh, no, Apple Music. Sorry. I'm just saying that for my music. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all the places on YouTube. Okay. Say that. Well, go check her out. That's that episode of Don't Trip. We got you podcast. Shout out to y'all. Keeping us afloat. Um, We're going to keep dropping videos for you and uh, keep dropping advice. Uh, Any last words you want to say to the people? 
Just um, always tell the truth, guys. Yeah. Truth. Best piece of advice. When you tell the truth, nobody can play you. Nobody can do nothing to you. Mm. You're going to live your life with peace. Mm -hmm. So just, it might be scary, but once you start telling the truth, you'll realize that you have the power over all the people that don't. Talk. Okay, that's it. But remember, don't trip. We got you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Let's go.